Greetings, everyone. Hope you've been well. It's Tuesday, August the 9th, and here's today's Solar Watch. As many of you are well aware, this morning there was a X7 solar flare, which is the most significant solar flare of the year. It was preceded by two M class flares and then erupted into the X class solar flare. Very significant solar event, and it is just barely Earth facing, so we'll probably catch the tail end of it. You can see it here playing on Soho. Right there, you can see. It doesn't appear to be all that significant from there, but if you take a look closely, you can see that it is a large solar flare. And it caused interference on the Soho, of course. Another interesting thing of note is if we go frame by frame here, shortly after the solar flare, we see this right here, this streak right here. Now, what could have caused this streak? Hmm, I don't know. Interesting. But nonetheless, the most significant solar flare of the year has occurred. As I stated, when these sunspots first started coming into view about two weeks ago, I predicted that before all is said and done, we're going to see an X class solar flare. And sure enough, we did. Solar wind is slightly lower than it has been. And it's not very dense. Overall, oval is weak at the moment. A new coronal hole is emerging on the eastern limb here. They still have a 10% chance of an X-class flare. I think that's going to be the one we see though. This An X7 flare is a very significant solar flare. We may be seeing some uh, satellite and communication disruptions two to three days from now. They have another video of the solar flare eruption here. Perhaps not. Well, nonetheless, I'm sure the videos out there are many. There we go. Well, I figure as soon as it loads, it stops. You can see there, it was a significant flare, X7. Highest class I've seen in quite some time. So that'll conclude today's solar watch. Again, we've had the most.